Hey everyone, it's the end of July, summer's almost over, which I'm very sad about, but I'm happy to share with you some of my favorite things from the month of July. Some of these, a few of these are old favorites, but I have a lot of new things to share and they're not all makeup, so here we go. First thing, the only thing that has gotten me through the summer with my face still intact is the Urban Decay All Nighter XL. Um, I think they've changed the packaging since then, since I've purchased this, but it's a nice bottle. Um, I also have the travel size of it. I just spray this all over my face when I'm done and my makeup doesn't go anywhere all day. And I've used this when I was walking around very kind of humid, misty Scotland. It never really rained on us, but um, my makeup held up really well and I use this every day in hot, sweaty Texas. And in either place, it holds up very well. I highly, highly recommend this. I've had no issues with my skin from that. The Pons Luminous, <laughs> the Pons Luminous Finish BB Plus Cream. I know if you've watched my videos, you know that I can't stand BB cream. This stuff is more like, you know what it's like? It's like the Laura Mercier Tint and Moisturizer. It has great coverage, so to me it feels like a foundation, but it dries to a kind of a matte finish, a satin matte finish. I have it on today. Um, I, of course I have powder and bronzer and highlighter and all that on top, but this is what I'm wearing. It's pretty easy, no fuss. I do a couple of layers of it just to get a little more coverage, but um, I'm gonna stop giving the full review. But I really like this and I think it should be available now in most places. So um, give us a peek. I have to say this was sent to me to review. Um, I would have never bought this on my own, but I will definitely be repurchasing this. So very shocked and surprised and happy that I like that. This was featured in a whole video, but the reason I'm putting this in my favorites is because I have applied it differently and now I really, I liked it before, now I really like it. It's the Bourjois Paris 123 Perfect Foundation, which I will put um, in the about box below, the uh, video that talks about this. But I have been using this very dirty beauty blender to put it on every day, except for today. And this makes all the difference in the world. Um, ease of application, beautiful flawless finish, stays put all day, just love. So these two together are a must. Now what else is in my little box? Okay this was, I, I think it was part of the birthday set from Sephora for this year. It's teeny tiny. I have a teeny tiny version. It's the Benefits What's Up. Get it? What? Like a light bulb? What? And it is a stick highlighter. And um, I have been using this, there it is without being blended out. I have been using this, not today of course, I never seem to remember to use the products on the day I'm filming um, because I've set them aside to show you so then I forget to go get them and, and use them um, when I'm getting ready. But this is part of a birthday set and I have been using this. I just swap after my foundation and concealer but before, no you know what, even after powder, I just draw it on my cheekbones, put it on my cupid's bow, sometimes on my nose, take a, any kind of brush, fluffy brush, blend it, My usually just the brush I use for foundation, like expert face brush, blend it in, and my husband has even commented, wow, you look all glowy and pretty. So um, I really like it, I like it a lot. And it's, I love this little size. There's no need to purchase the big one, this thing's gonna last me forever. I've mentioned this before, I will mention it again, um, the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, this is just in the transparent 01, comes in a lot of other shades. This stuff is amazing. I mean, it really, I like matte skin, especially in the summer when um, I tend to sweat. I would rather put my shimmer where I want it, not have it come through in sweat. So this Stay Matte Powder is, it's amazing. I never, I, I only put it on in the morning when I do my makeup and I never retouch it. I have it in my purse, but I never go for it really. And um, it, it lasts all day and it keeps my face where I want it to be matte. So that makes me happy and it makes me happy that's a drugstore product, which is even better. And then lip combination that I've been loving. I love these each separately. I love them together. The first one is the Milani lipstick in nude cream. Looks like that. It's part of their new lipstick lines. And um, I love the smell. Smells like Jolly Rancher. Love this nude. It reminds me of one of my old favorites, um, the L'Oreal Ferris nude, but this has less pink tones in it. I don't know. I was testing, um, there we go, eyeliner. 
Um, it has, it's more just warm. Here's against, I have a peach kind of shirt, peachy corally blazer thingy on. It's just a warmer tone. I think it looks great with bronzy lipstick, bronzy eyeshadows, that tan. Um, it's very warm, wearable nude. It's not like a mannequin, dead person nude. So I really like this. And I love the price and I love, you can't smell it once you put it on, but as you're bringing it to your face, you can definitely smell it. And then um, these are called Apocalypse in the UK, but they're here in the US under the name Show Off by Rimmel. I'm really loving Rimmel products, I have to say. And I've bought a couple colors, but the one for me that stands out as the most versatile is Stargazer, number 701, it's this guy. And I have it on today over a very bright coral lipstick that kind of toned it down and gave it a golden sheen by itself. It looks like trying to really swatch it on there for you. Ignore the screaming in the background. My kids are playing. Um, so it has this really bright golden sheen to it. And then when you put it over even like a neutral lipstick like the Milani, there it is. It just gives it a nice light reflecting property, a little golden sheen to it. And it just, it looks great layered over every lipstick I've tried. And um, I can't tell if I'm smelling, <laughs> wait, doesn't really have much of an odor. So I'm really enjoying that. So that's it for makeup. Now, a couple things that I've been really enjoying the month of July. First and foremost, the Jillian Michaels 30 Day Shred. It is an exercise video DVD. It's a three level program. You do each level for 10 days, hence three levels, 10 days, 30 days. The first two levels you can get for free on YouTube. And I highly recommend doing it that way. Just, just type in the search bar and you'll find it. But um, I haven't been able to find the level three for free. And so I did buy it off of iTunes and I can watch it on my laptop or my iPad if I'm traveling, which is kind of nice. And I recommend doing the first two levels for free first because like so many people, you might do it for a week and then quit. And now you've bought something that you don't love and you're not using. So if you get through the first two levels, you're committed, it's worth the $8.99 on iTunes. Um, and I, I have definitely noticed a difference in the way my body feels and muscle definition and I'm just feeling healthier. Uh, the weight's not coming off yet, but that's a whole nother video. But it is definitely, there's some positive things going. I have 10 days left as I'm filming this. Um, other things that I've been enjoying, I've been really getting into, I have quite a large makeup collection and, I, and as my body is changing and I'm getting happier with the way I look, I've been interested in clothes again. Um, it's not fun shopping for clothes when you just don't like how things lay on you, you know? So, but it's getting better and so I've been following a couple fashion bloggers on YouTube and the two that I just love. I think I love them more or as much because of the production quality of their videos as the actual content. And the two that stand out to me are Wendy's Lookbook and Chriselle Lim. Chriselle Lim. It's, her name is Chriselle Lim, but she says it so quickly together. Anyway, those two, they're absolutely beautiful women. The clothes are stunning. Not everything is exactly wearable, but it's very inspirational. And um, I've, got, I've learned a lot on how to put some things together. So I highly recommend that you check those two women out. And then organizing. Um, as my kids are starting to get ready to go back to school and we've been hanging around the house all summer, I've been looking around the house going, hmm, I could organize that and I need to change this up and it's time to do this. And I love this. I don't know why I haven't found her. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Why don't you guys tell me? I really do listen to your recommendations. I don't know why none of you told me to watch this woman, but I think her name is either Organized by Jen or Organized. I think it's Organized by Jen is her video channel that I watch. I know she has a bunch of other channels, but this is the only one I've watched so far. And she tells you how to organize every nook and cranny in your house. Like, I'm not kidding, every nook and cranny. From linen closets, bookshelves, home office, craft closet. I don't have a craft closet, I'm not crafty. But, um, file of facts. How to organize your file of facts. How to organize your suitcase for packing, your carry-on. It's amazing, she's amazing. And she actually lives one town over from where I grew up, so I think that is really cool. Um, just on a personal note, so yay for the North Shore people hanging out together. 
And um, anyway, she's very inspirational and I've spent a lot of time watching your videos and I may have even organized a cabinet or two since I started. Um, and then the last thing are some bloggers and I follow more than I'm gonna remember their names. So I will list in the about box below um, or the about tab, I guess it's called now, I don't know. I've been following Ivory Lane and Jay's Everyday Fashion are the two that stand out. I think another one is Because Shanna Said So and there's some more that I can't remember, but I will list them all in the, um, like I said, the About tab. And um, those are just blog, not just, those are bloggers, there's no video associated with them, it's just content I get to read. And I, they, I find their posts very inspirational because they're um, normal looking people. They're beautiful women, but they're not fashion models. And um, they shop in normal stores, like not everything is coming from Neiman Marcus. So. I'm really enjoying uh, what, reading, I guess, not watching, reading their blogs every day. I get it. I get a subscription in by email, so every day they just pop up in my um, inbox, and it's a nice little treat every day. So that's what I've been enjoying in July. I'd love to hear what some of your favorites are, and I hope your summer's been going well. Enjoy that last month before the run-up to the fall and cooler weather for some of you, not for some of us. Anyway, have a great day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.